I'm Alexander Knott. I'm the new artistic director of the Old Red Lion Theatre. I'm the lead producer of the triptych of plays at the Old Red Lion, and I'm the director of Nuclear War by Simon Stevens and joint director of Buried by David Spencer. A triptych is generally a piece of art that's divided into three pieces. It's often a painting or three different paintings that can be seen separately but when taken together tell a larger story or show a larger picture. So that's what we're trying to do with this uh, trio of plays. They're not connected in terms of character but they are thematically and dramatically connected so when you watch all three of them in an interconnected production like we're doing here they will uh, tell a large larger thematic story. I first read Nuclear War on a train a year or a year and a half ago and immediately thought it would be ideal for Boxless because it fits our mandate of writing and movement fused in a way that creates a new way of seeing both and movement unlocking something in the writing. And then when I became artistic director I immediately wanted to do something that put uh, a new spin on a way of seeing new writing. So ideally Simon Stevens is the headline draw and then you get two new pieces of work as well, maybe by writers that audiences weren't already aware of. I've always been drawn to multiple play projects, double bills. The first project that Bag of Beard made was, was a double bill at the Bread and Roses Theatre. I think it's akin to a book of short stories or like letting Netflix play through to the next episode. It's I feel like our generation demands something dynamic and impactful, but if you can weave that together in a way that makes a cohesive whole, it becomes more than, you know, a play, round of applause, play. It, it, it's more cohesive than that, and that's something that, as a theatre goer, I would respond to. Grindstone, we've known, that's um, Max Saunders Singer and Sonny Beckett's company, we've known them uh, for a number of years and we've uh, followed their work and we've wanted to do something together. And Max, uh, after he saw Hedgehog, our last play, said that he had a monologue that would possibly complement that. So when I was looking to put multiple plays together, I immediately went, how's that monologue about male mental health coming along? Buried, we workshopped last year at the Tristan Bates Theatre and we are just looking for, for it to have a future life because it's such a prescient play. And then when we put them all together, they tell a thematic story about how do we overcome the insurmountable. They're all about people trying to overcome impossible situations. The first play you see is Buried. So that runs as the act one of the evening. Then there's an interval and uh, Graceland and Nuclear War uh, kind of flow together seamlessly. So it's one interlinked production. Nuclear War was written by Simon Stevens. Um, it was first premiered at, at the Royal Court in 2017. Uh, so this is the first revival, which is really exciting. How he wrote it was very kind of open to his interpretation. He um, kind of did a whole three-page foreword of I've wrote the words, do whatever you want with them. You can say them all, you don't have to say any of them, because uh, I think he initially wrote it was uh, to completely go with movement. Uh, Imogen Knight did the movement on the um, Royal Court production so she I think kind of went with that kind of writing and uh, kind of paired it with the movement and we're kind of doing the same, which is really exciting. It's about a woman who lost her partner. Uh, he died about seven years ago. And she just wakes up one morning and is like, I need to change, something needs to change. I want to like carry on living. So obviously grief is such like a personal thing, isn't it? And it can kind of dumb you to all your senses that you're just numb and just numb. And she has been numb for seven years. so. The, the play kind of picks up immediately of her going, I'm going to do something, I'm going to make a change, and I want to explore the world, and basically have that connection with someone again. The script is literally just, it's almost like a, a stream of consciousness, and we literally could do anything, which is so exciting. That would be a completely new interpretation, and again with it being uh, so openly written, it's nice that we'll be able to have a new way of doing it. It's going to be a good evening and there'll be something in there for everyone. It's going to be dark, intense, like dynamic. We're really excited. This is going to be something completely different for us and I think we're all 
excited that we we get to do it as a group and like collaborative. Like there's three companies coming together, um, and all our different audiences will be able to come in one room. It's going to be special. I'm Ryan Hutton. I'm co-directing Buried, which is part of the triptych season here at the Old Red Lion. Uh, I'm also co-director and founder of Bag of Beard. The story of Buried is about a soldier who was buried during the Second World War. Um, Max Spencer is the character and the piece was written by David Spencer, his son, and it's performed by his grandson, James Domain. So we have a whole family aspect within the whole piece. Two separate worlds in the play where we have the buried state and we don't know how long he's going to be buried for, whether someone's going to save him, but we also have this other state where he comes out of the buried sort of world and he talks to us, the audience, about his whole life and the family that he's met, um, the soldiers and everything that he's encountered along the way. Um, so it's a real marathon of a piece. As a company, we were looking for new writing. We're always looking to put on short form theatre. So when we started the company about five years ago, we wanted to create theatre which was fast, hard hitting and sort of um, linked with us generationally as a young company. Um, so David Spencer approached us. Obviously, we have James within our company, who's his grandson. We, we were all given the play um, and we decided that it would be a challenge for us to take it on because it's only a one-man show. It runs for about 50 minutes and within it there is everything from very small sort of quaint moments but also these massive long extravagant war stories. To be able to tell the story of your grandfather who was buried in the Second World War, is, as an actor, uh, it's a, a, a mammoth task, but also a gift, because I suppose it's it's a story which you would normally maybe tell down the pub or you tell people around a dinner table. Working with Alex as uh, a director and also as a friend, a creative, I feel like everything we do as a company of Bag of Beards has been this long process of. Um, learning as artists um, and as I say now that Alex has become the artistic director of the Albert Lyra performing it we have these different milestones of as a company where we start to really figure out what works for us and what works in the room and what doesn't. And working with each other on this it's we have a, a really strong partnership of what I bring and what he brings. What Alex is exceptional at is um, finding moments within the text and really taking specific moments that we need to make count, especially in Buried, because Buried has so much going on and for so long really it's it's like an audio book. You, you should be able to, as an audience member, be able to close your eyes and see and hear everything and, us, and with lights and how we want to stage it. Um, those moments and the words are really important and what I, I, I tend to bring as a director is more of um, um, an emotional feeling, I suppose, if that makes sense. It's more of a trying to find James as his character or Max, Max's character for this whole arc. I have these certain moments where we have to really hit and where we pull it back and then we carry it on. Um, talking about it now, it's sort of exhausting. I sort of think about how, how James goes through this whole process. It's, it's really... He's doing an incredible job at putting everything in there. Uh, Graceland is about uh, a teacher, Mr. Crichton, who is having a very bad day based on a couple, maybe a week or so, of very bad days preceding that. Uh, and this is him trying to maintain normality in a classroom setting whilst internally falling to pieces. And as any good theatre, external becomes internal and vice versa, so he ends up sort of physically and mentally collapsing in front of the class. I honestly don't know how long it'll be. Uh, when they originally uh, gave me the script and said, are you interested, they said it was a, a half hour uh, one-man show slash monologue. Uh, and then the first rehearsal that we did, I think it's probably going to be closer to 15 minutes, 20 minutes, uh, which seems like enough time to 
you know, have a mini breakdown. I've been a fan of Max's writing. Uh, he did a play called The Glass House, set in the uh, trenches in the First World War. And I saw that a good few years ago, the Tristan Bates with my friend Simon uh, was in it, which is how I ended up meeting everybody. Um, so yeah, I've been a fan of Max's work for a long time. Um, and then when I read the script, it's, it's a really well-written, nothing is obvious. You can find the emotional journey without really any uh, signpost, external signposts. Um, it's, it's a really well-written piece in terms of um, you know, spiraling down the drain. It starts off quite broad and then just centers to a point, which is a really hard trick to do well. And I think Max's writing is really good. I've never done a one-man show before, effectively. I've done monologues, obviously, and I, I, I've been on stage on my own uh, at, at many points. Um, but the direct address of the audience uh, and, uh, you know, just you for 20-odd minutes, that's... Uh, I've never done that before, so that's exciting and a challenge, I think. I feel very excited about being part of the triptych at the Old Red Lion. Uh, I've performed here a couple of times in the past. Um, I, I have a lot of affection for this small little space. Come and see Triptych, the whole show, uh, because there's some astonishing writing and there's some brilliant performers. So you get three uh, shows effectively for the price of one. Come and see Graceland specifically because you get to see me try not to murder an Elvis Presley song. My name's Samuel Heron. I'm working as a sound designer and composing original music for the Triptych. Um, Buried and Nuclear War both have original music and there's original music that goes in between all three plays. So my involvement with Bag of Beard began with me actually starring in a play, Renaissance Men, which was in this theatre at the Old Red Lion. Um, uh, I've been good friends with all the members for the past few years, but as a composer I basically had the idea of making some music for Renaissance Men. I pitched that idea, it stuck, and then I ended up becoming the company composer, which was really great. When I begin my process of composing, I always like to think about what world the characters are inhabiting. So when we find Max, we find him stuck in this vertical um, position, trapped in these rocks. And I think, what sounds is he surrounded by? You know, he has the rocks around him. What sound do these rocks make? and how can I find a way of bringing that into music, really. So there's a lot of percussion in Buried, which is used to sort of signify him coming back into the world that he inhabits. Then also thinking about his place in terms of the period of the play. You know, he's an Irishman, so I used a lot of Irish tin whistle, concertina, um, delved into a little bit more of the folk sort of music side of it. In terms of nuclear war, beginning to compose on that was slightly different because I had sent this piece of music called Tempelhof um, by Jan Tiersen to Alex months before and he wrote back to me saying that they'd been inspired by this piece of music and how it could work in the, in the realm of this play. So for me, I actually used that as a bouncing off point. I thought, okay, what instrumentation works from this Tempelhof piece of music? So there's quite a few swirling piano bits in there. There's some interesting bits of distortion that come in. And that sort of sprung me off into sort of a bit more of an electronic world, which is something new for me as a composer. So working with um, electronic vocal manipulation, manipulating sound of crowds and real world sounds and how we can manipulate that into this sort of distorted world that we find our character in. Working with all three companies on this project has meant that for me the music has taken on different things and I've gone a little bit more experimental than I normally would be. So it's through, through, from working with everybody else, it's inspired me to do more. I really wanted to make an impact with this as the first gesture that I wanted to put forward from my companies and from myself for the direction of the theatre. I wanted to 
put a big name like Simon Stevens on the top of the bill, an internationally renowned playwriting voice, but with a play that is probably one of his lesser known ones, though it does have a cult following, it's more experimental, it's stranger and more transient and harder to pin down. And bringing that together with playwrights of great critical acclaim, but are I don't want to use the word emerging about David Spencer, who's won the Verity Bargate Award twice, but playwrights who may not be as widely known by uh, an English audience in David's case, or are still emerging in Max's case, bringing those things together, I think, creates a great fusion of, you know, the name Simon Stevens and the body of work. It's a new way of seeing different elements of, of writing.